All right. Well, welcome everybody, all you early technology adopters out there to uh, the uh, Connection Hangout. I um, want to welcome everybody, and I know these are the sharpest people on the planet. All you guys out there looking to improve yourself, expand your knowledge and education, and of course, also those people in Colorado. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. Just kidding. There's time for relaxation as well. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, well, welcome, everybody. Um, we're excited to be using this Google Hangout technology to broadcast this program live all over the world. Uh, my name is Paul Tyra, and I am joined by my co-host out there, David Asarno. Are you out there? I am here. We're warming can up. You hear from us? Our, can you hear us? Yes. Can, uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, loud and clear. Fantastic. Perfect. Are you, well, in a frozen, well, are you in the frozen vortex, or what is it called? I'm in, yes, we have the frozen vortex. It was five degrees yesterday in Atlanta. <laughs> I heard that. We're not used <laughs> to it. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I heard somebody saying uh, in that area that uh, they were huddling around their open refrigerator for warmth. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. They, they called schools throughout the state of Georgia. They weren't prepared for it. Wow, wow, that is that is crazy. And uh, again, I hope everyone out there on this call is safe and nice and huddled up uh, around their computer this evening. Um, we're also joined online by uh, Brent Brooks, uh, who will be moderating the comment thread. So feel free to type right underneath this screen, say hi, and uh, chime in. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, we do read those after, so yeah, be as interactive uh, as you'd like. Um, this Connection Hangout is a show that is uh, designed to get you connected to industry leaders, also, a professional athletes, ASEA executives, um, on a really a more personal level. So you get to know people, their background, how they found ASEA, and uh, what their thoughts are currently and the future uh, that ASEA and the technology holds. Uh, this is not a business presentation, okay? So if you'd like more information on ASEA itself, please get back to the person who invited you here on this Hangout. Um, and uh, some of you may actually have a more info button right underneath the screen. If you do, after we're done, feel free to click on that, and that may give you some additional information as well. Uh, okay, so now what I like to do is I like to turn it over to David uh, to go ahead on, and bring on our special guest speaker for the evening. So, David, the call's all yours. Thanks, Paul. Well, tonight is a, a very special opportunity because the gentleman that we have as our guest, I, I can truly say, has changed my life in more ways than, than you can ever imagine. Um, about uh, almost two years ago, um, I was invited to a seminar to see a friend speak. And I, I got to see the friend speak, but then I literally have taken a 180-degree a, a turn from where I was in my health, um, in, my, in my thinking. And I've, I've got to say that I've witnessed this guest personally transform people's lives, transform their businesses, transform their thoughts, transform their health all at a cellular level. And he, the reason that I'm, I, I've got to actually say this, he wasn't directly responsible, but he is directly responsible for me being here on this call today, being involved with Paul on this hangout today because he started me thinking differently about our health and how Health starts at the cellular level, and, we, and I hear him say all the time, when you heal your cells, you can get well. And our, our guest today is, is near and dear to my heart, and as many of you get to know him, he'll be near and dear to yours. He's internationally acclaimed. He's a cellular healing expert. Please welcome to uh, our, our hangout tonight, our connection hangout, Dr. Dan Pompa. Yeah. Welcome, Dr. Pompa. Right. Thank you. Welcome, Dr. Pompa. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, David. Uh, love to be here. Well, I, I know you have such an amazing story, and I'd love for you to share with everyone how you started your journey and developed the passion that I know that you have for cellular healing. Yeah, I mean, uh, some years ago, um, it was around the uh, year of 2000, I became very sick. Um, at th that time, I was uh, practicing, you know, so I was a doctor, a physician, helping other people, and uh, I was also racing my bike at the time. I was an expert cyclist. Um, loved cycling, was training for some up-and-coming races. I was literally in the best shape of my life. And all of a sudden, my world crumbled down and fell out. I became chronically fatigued and went from that to food intolerances, uh, brain fog, insomnia, hormone dysregulation, adrenal issues, thyroid issues, 
I couldn't find out what was wrong. Uh, my blood work was normal, uh, yet my world was crumbling. I couldn't adapt to stress anymore. It got to the point where I couldn't work anymore. Um, so I you know, had two young kids at the time, and uh, life was not fun. So uh, long story short, in some years of you know, trying to figure out what was wrong, I figured out what was wrong. Um, I ended up having chronic mercury uh, toxicity after I had some amalgams removed. Matter of fact, David, I, I just wrote an article uh, that I was just telling you about, um, mm -hmm. just telling a little bit more about my story. Uh, but now, you know, in it, it really uh, gained a greater purpose. God gave me a greater purpose in it because now I teach doctors all around the country what I do. Um, really, most of which I learned in my own my own battle, uh, my own journey of uh, getting myself well, uh, which wasn't easy. I mean, there's a whole story there, obviously. Um, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, no, I mean, now I do have a greater purpose. You know, I have a passion of teaching what I learned, how I got myself well, and I've been blessed to. You know, not only get well myself, but get hundreds, well, thousands of people well now because we have duplicated, you know, what I've done across the country with other doctors. Uh, so, you know, my pain became absolutely my purpose. Awesome. That's Thank awesome. You. you know, um, so as far as cellular health goes, uh, do you see more of a focus on healing at the cellular level uh, and be more relevant in the future? You know, one thing, Paul, you know, that I teach, and, you know, David said it um, in part of the introduction, you know, I have a mantra that says, you know, if you don't fix the cell, you'll never get well. Uh, what does that actually mean? You know, one of the things that I write about is true cellular detox and cellular healing. Ultimately, what we see now is an epidemic, and, and I think most people listening or watching, um, we've heard that inflammation is really the cause and driving uh, the majority of degenerative diseases today, um, inflammation, heart disease, inflammation, cancer, diabetes, Time Magazine said it's the silent killer, and, you know, inflammation is the cause, but, but what does it mean to the average person? Uh, but what they're talking about really is inflammation of the cell, and what happens, you know, we have estimated 50 to 70 trillion cells in our body. When these cells become inflamed, and I typically give three big reasons why, uh, definitely our diets. When, when we look at our diets, we see things like, um, uh, you know, bad fats. And I know fat has a bad rap in this country. I'm actually a big proponent of fat. Uh, matter of fact, most Americans don't eat enough fat. Uh, you know, we're familiar with fish oil, but there's so many other fats that have a bad rap that really we need at the cell. So it's a lot of these bad fats, like vegetable oils that are everything, that drive inflammation of the cell. We also have just raising glucose and insulin, which is a massive epidemic in this country. Uh, just over grain consumption drives inflammation of the cell. But the big one, the hidden one, is toxins. Uh, like no time in the history of man have we ever been really exposed to the level of toxins that we have today. And not just from our outer environment, because arguably that's cleaner than ever, really from our internal environments, things we're putting in our bodies, things we're you know, whether it's personal care products, silver amalgam fillings, which is one of the things that led, you know, to my demise, um, and so many other hidden toxins, over-vaccination. I mean, we could go on and on with so many ways that we're getting overly toxified, but that's driving a lot of this inflammation. So those are the three main causes. But when the cell becomes inflamed, this is the epidemic that is now causing so many sicknesses, and how it presents itself really is oftentimes determined by our genetic susceptibilities. So I always say your DNA is not your destiny. We used to think that, hey, you would get the disease if your parents had diabetes, you would get it. But really what we know now, Paul, is that those genes get turned on. The number one thing studies show that turn on those bad genes of susceptibility are toxins. The, the best part about this is what I educate doctors about and the public is when you fix the cell, you do get well. Part of that fixing the cell is very new science in epigenetics where we talk about turning off these bad genes. So yes, they can be turned on. So you don't get the disease of genetic weakness only if they get turned on. We can turn off these genes and that's part of cellular healing. So I developed really a roadmap for doctors and it became something even that uh, you know the average person re uh, resonates to. My five R's of cellular healing, really fixing these five R's is how you fix a cell. This addresses the epidemic of why so many people are sick today. Got it. Got it. So you and I have talked many times and about the the health of our nation and how yeah. it's declining at a, at a tremendous rate. 
What concerns do you have regarding our future as a country and the challenges we face in health care if, mm -hmm. if it continues the way that it is? Right. Yeah, I mean, look, look you know, lately if you've watched the news, you know, you, you see, you know, the next diet, right? It's this diet, it's that diet, it's this message. You know, I, I think one of the disturbing things for me and one of my passions is, is most of what you hear, especially from regular media, is completely wrong. Uh, the message is wrong. The message, at least, let's talk about weight loss right now, just because it's we're hearing so much about it. The <laughs> message from our government bodies, our protective bodies, is look, eat less, exercise more. Well, that's been proven wrong a thousand times over. Uh, it's not about eating less. Um, it's not about just necessarily eating more fruits and vegetables. Weight loss today is so much more complicated than that. Um, I call it weight loss resistance because there's this growing number of people who, despite what they eat, and how much they exercise still can't lose weight. And the problem is the cell. It's really a hormone problem. You know, the reason why people can't lose weight today is a hormone problem. The reason we see a massive increase in diabetes, obesity, thyroid conditions, is it's a hormone problem. But what do I mean by that? Because something that's in vogue, David, right now is everybody taking hormones, even bioidentical hormones. One of the things that I say at every seminar, it's not about taking more hormones. It's about the receptor to the hormone, which is on the cell. You see, so it's a cellular problem. All these hormone issues, the inability to lose weight, the diabetes and the thyroid and the explosion of hormone problems, it's a cellular issue. If you don't fix the cell, you're never going to fix the hormone problems. You're never going to get well. So the concern is our target is wrong. It's not about eating less. It's not about exercising more, although I agree with exercise. I love exercise, but that's not why we're gaining weight. That's not why we can't lose weight. And it's definitely not about eating less. This is about a hormone problem, cellular disruption. This is the epidemic. And nobody is really talking about it. That's my passion. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And you know, along that lines, and with healthcare, with healthcare professionals, one of the hardest things uh, that we all face is finding a way to share you know, our breakthrough technology, of course, that mm -hmm. deals at the cellular level, um, and, uh, you know, with our own uh, doctors and personal uh, personal wellness practitioners. Uh, can you give some of uh, listeners out there a good strategy for how they can maybe best approach these doctors with the information and science? Yeah, I mean, you know, kind of pulling it into a product like ASEA. Uh, you know, ASEA really is a core central product that addresses the cell. Uh, that's what excites me about it. I, look, I, I've been teaching about cellular healing for years. It saved my life. I'm here. <laughs> I'm healthy because of it. Changed David's life. Uh, you know, when I first started reading about cellular healing and what was going on with the epidemic of why so many people are getting sick, yes, it's a cellular issue. How do you turn genes on and off? How do you fix the cell? You learn a little bit about something called oxidation and redox, meaning you know, the process the cell goes through to really, you need something called oxidation to really fire up your immune system. It's how your body, body deals with pathogens. Um, if you get uh, sick or the flu, your body utilizes oxidation. It utilizes oxidation, Paul, to, you know, to make energy so you feel good. Think of oxidation as if I burned a fire in the room, that's oxidation of some sort. However, if you don't deal with the fumes of the fire or the fire in general or control the fire, now we end up with a new problem. Well, think of that as reduction. Well, our body has a lot of different molecules uh, called redox molecules, you know, reduction and oxidation molecules that it needs for these processes that the cell needs. So literally the cell can't function without redox. So a product like ASEA is a, a really neat core product that really drives a lot, has a, a role in so many of these cellular functions that are broken really at an epidemic level. So. I know many people um, get very excited about a product like this. I'm going to take it to my doctor. I'll take it to my chiropractor. Surely he is going to just absolutely love this product. And, um, you know, <laughs> he's going to be the one that is going to, you know, just bring this to everyone I know and, you know, to the planet. Well, I'll tell you, it's probably, you know, it's not going to happen like that. Uh, because most, <laughs> no, really? All right? most of these doctors, like myself, we are not interested in building a, a network where, you know, we're interested in getting people well. You know, so uh, the challenge has always been that. What you need to do uh, is, you know, 
you could obviously present uh, the product to him to try him for him personally, himself a family member, um, but ultimately it's going to have to be you that really builds the network for the doctor. Um, you know, he can absolutely be a credibility source for you, um, something on those lines. But again, to get the doctor, you know, building a network or a business, you know, for you, it's just not going to happen. So you need to approach him as something that you can do for him. Always approach a doctor with, you know, what they're going to gain. Matter of fact, always approach everybody for that. What's in it for them, and that's human nature. So a doctor is no sure. different than that. You know, never present it for, you know, something that is, um, you know, going to, you know, be this, you know, end all for him. You know, you have to make it reasonable gain for that doctor, and it may be just for their health in the beginning. You, uh, you. you you have a passion to, to reach as many people as possible to, to share the, the message of cellular healing. So let's talk a little bit more since you, you started going down this road um, about the power of reaching more people through large networks and being able to share information and the message of cellular healing with, with products like ASEA. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Well, I mean, you can tell, you know, I'm, I'm passionate about the subject. Uh, that's why I'm on this call, because I believe this message needs to get out. You know, look, cellular healing is the answer, you know, whether it's an inability to lose weight, you know, a thyroid condition, uh, that most of it goes undiagnosed, normal blood work, and people wonder what's wrong, but their hair's falling out, they're gaining weight, can't lose it, cold all the time, skin problems. Uh, you know, most people are pre-diabetic before they ever get a blood test to show that they are, in fact, diabetic. They just don't know it. Uh, you know, this is, this is a growing number of people. How many people do you know that have chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, unexplainable illnesses, and yet they can't figure out with, what's wrong? This is what we're talking about, cellular healing. This message needs to be brought to the planet. I believe, you know, social media, David, has been my outreach, hasn't it? Uh, I've yeah. been able to reach millions of people with this message um, of cellular healing, probably more than anybody on the planet right now, so I, I thank God for that. Um, but many people can do the very same thing, obviously. And David, you're an expert there. I, I, I'm, I'm really not. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm the messenger, you know. <laughs> but you know, just what we're doing tonight, right, I mean, we're bringing a message of truth, you know, really, which I believe stands out against the message that's being echoed out there. Um, I believe our message, I know our message is true, I know it's unique, and I know it stands out. ASEA is a simple way for everyone listening to bring a component of cellular healing to the planet. I mean, we have a product, you all have a product that is real. You know, it does something that no other product does. I've developed many cellular products, and, and David, you know that. Mm -hmm. I've been in the product development for many, many years. You know, it took me some time you know, to gravitate to a SIA, you know, and, 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 and you're laughing, but it, the reason why is everybody brings me every product on the planet, and rarely ever do I get involved with, with you know, these types of products. Um, rarely ever do I, uh, you know, even look into some of them unless there's in some type of intrigue, but I was introduced to a SIA years ago, and uh, like many of you listening, I, I, I think I tasted it and said, well, that's chlorine water, and there's chlorine in it. Um, so, you know, it, 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 probably, it probably went on the shelf after that. But It's you know, great to I, know I'm not the only one, Doug. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a scientist at heart, so, you know, I, I couldn't imagine what this chlorine-based product would do for me. Uh, you know, and then someone wouldn't go away, and they, they challenged me to start reading more, and of course... I had a background in oxidation and redox, uh, so when they started telling me about that these were the first 20 molecules in stabilized in this product of redox, oh, it did catch my attention. Well, you know, it wasn't until, you know, after some conversations with, you know, some other scientists about the product and Dr. Samuelson and, you know, really looking into it, you know, that I really, you know, became a, a, a true believer, but, you know, I have to admit, I, I tried it on my wife first, and uh, my wife... Um, had some different things. We, we always start with our family as these experiments, but um, my wife <laughs> took it. And, of, of course, I, I wasn't, going, gotten married. I <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> going to drink chlorine water first. Of course, I'm going to give it to her. She didn't die. Then I was going to give it to me. No, I, I knew it was safe, honestly. I, that wasn't really the, the issue. That's a joke. But um, no, but she did, she did take it, and she noticed a, a massive difference. And my wife is a hard sell. And then I was, as I mentioned, you know, I, I was a cyclist and uh, 
um, you know, I this was after actually I was well, uh, but I was still cycling at this point, and I noticed a massive difference um, as a cyclist in my power output. So I immediately, you know, fell in love with the product from that standpoint. Uh, and then it wasn't until later that I really met with Dr. Samuelson and, you know, got some other questions answered that I even started, you know, addressing it with some autoimmune, you know, clients that I have, um, you know, and really expanding out into the use. And I actually had a little boy with CP um, uh, that really benefited, and this was even some years ago, uh, that it really changed his world um, and, and made a massive difference uh, for this young man. So, you know, that really was, was another, you know, thing that it made me a believer in the product as well. So the science is there. Uh, you know, the science is there. Um, we have a message that really, I, I think it's oftentimes difficult to, um, for people to communicate, but I can tell you what works, folks. Communicating cellular healing. You know, communicate what people uh, want. You know, find out what their wants and needs are, and mostly their wants, and then communicate from that level. You know, if someone's having trouble losing weight, you know, to talk about a SIA from a redox standpoint is just not going to resonate with them. But if you talk about weight loss as a cellular issue, and that's why you can't lose weight, um, and this is a cellular product that fixes the cell to get well, uh, that's a message that has always worked with products. I've developed glutathione products. I've developed products that people would never understand. Um, and I would never talk about the product from a standpoint of the science at the molecular level but I would always talk about the product for how it would address a need or a want for the you know the person before me, and people understand that. People understand, uh, you know, not having enough energy, not being able to lose weight, you know, or p potentially having a hormone issue, and explain to them that look, you know, these problems start at the cell, and this product is how you fix a cell. Well, the product itself doesn't really do anything, but what it does is empowers exactly. your body to do everything. Well, that's it. Your body can't do anything without redox. You know, so the product itself doesn't heal. The body heals. Um, but ultimately, you know, without oxidation, without reduction, the most basic functions of a cell do not work. Uh, so really, it just allows the body to do what it was meant to do. You know, today, you know, why do we see such a deficiency or epidemic of these molecules that are missing that really cause the cell not to work. Uh, in the epidemic, um, I believe it's the amount of stressors that we're under today. Now, we talked about the chemical stressors, but the body doesn't know the difference of emotional stress, physical stress, or chemical stress. And it is the combination of these stressors is how people end up with these um, just not feeling well. Uh, you know, not being able to function at the level that they, you know, used to or want to function at or know they should function at. You know, brain fog is one of the first symptoms that people think it's normal to age and lose your keys or your memory. It's not normal at all. It's, it's, it's normal in this country. Uh, I should say it's common in this country, but it's absolutely not normal. Uh, that's a product of, lo you know, low uh, ATP of the cell. You know, when you're taking a product like ASEA, um, directly it's not an ATP raiser of the cell, but why does it raise ATP of the cell and have an effect on how your brain works? Because oxidation and reduction are a part, the major part of how your body makes energy. So you need these molecules to make ATP. You can't do anything, digest food, think clearly, um, any process, detox your cell without ATP. Matter of fact, David, you've probably heard me teach this to my doctors. One of the first things that we do that I teach doctors to do is the most basic thing is raise cellular energy. And the cellular energy, folks, that's ATP back, I know I probably used a word back from your chemistry or biochemistry days or whatever <laughs> it was, but ATP is the gasoline of the cell. ATP is how your cell works. It's, it's how every energy process in your body, it's why you feel good. It's how you can think clear. Most Americans are losing this cellular energy. One of the first things we do with challenged patients or the average person is we have to increase that cellular energy. And now, all of a sudden, these other things start to work. Now, all of a sudden, you're taking uh, the product you got from this person or you know, now your body's able to utilize it because you have enough cellular energy. You know, one of the things I've heard you say is the, the great thing about it because of it being so unique in what it does, it makes everything else that, like, in, in your protocols, what it, it, it has the ability to make other thing, everything else work better. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying there? 
No doubt, uh, because nothing can work without you know these processes of oxidation and reduction. Uh, you know, the cell can't detox. You know, I said that, look, you know, we're like no time in the history of man are we under the, the different type of neurotoxins that we've ever been. These are toxins that attack our nerve system. Uh, you know, literally they make their way in and around the cell and disrupt the cellular function. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's, most people today have neurotoxic issues, and that's why they don't feel well. Well, look, a, a cell can't detox normally without normal oxidation and reduction. Uh, your glutathione level, glutathione is the strongest antioxidant in the world. How I describe it to people is, you know, people understand vitamin C. Well, glutathione is 5,000 times stronger than vitamin C. Yet, when people are sick, they say, oh, take vitamin C. Well, what about glutathione? Well, we know a product like ASEA raises glutathione dramatically, right? So, what's more important? You know, this is going to raise glutathione, you know, much greater. Glutathione is your body's antioxidant. It is in every cell of the body. If it doesn't exist in a cell, your cell dies instantly. Your cell can go without food, water, or oxygen longer than it can glutathione. So that's how important it is. You know, a product like ASEA really has a dramatic effect on glutathione, you know, because it has an effect on these redox molecules. So it indirectly affects the cell's ability to reduce inflammation. It indirectly affects the, the cell's ability to detox itself. Glutathione is how your body removes toxins as well. So one thing I always say is true detoxification has to start at the cellular level. I know that people listening or watching have heard uh, a lot about detox, um, liver detoxes, colon cleanse, foot baths, magnets on the feet. Um, you know, the list goes on and on, right? It's this, this thing or that thing. But look, I mean, it's not that I'm against any of those things. But really how you get well today is you have to fix the cell. You have to detox the cell. So true detox has to occur at the cell. That means you have to pay attention to things like glutathione in the cell. You have to pay attention to redox molecules. You have to pay attention to something called methylation, which is another thing that ASEA indirectly affects. Uh, methylation is how your body gets rid of toxic hormones. It's how your body deals with stress at the cellular level. And yet most Americans, I call it the epidemic within the epidemic, are methyl depleted because of stress, physical, chemical, and emotional. Again, the body doesn't know the difference. But what do we do about it? ASEA you know, is a product that will indirectly deal with even how the cell methylates and gets rid of these bad toxins, etc. So I, I know we're talking some biochemistry here, you know, and I don't want to lose people, but the bottom line is this. You know, it's, you know, it's one product that really has an effect on all of the five R's that I teach. Uh, you know, it really does touch them all, which is really why, you know, it's a great core product, and I, I love the product for that reason. Fantastic. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much, uh, Dr. Pompa, uh, for joining us tonight. That was uh, a wealth of information, and I'm sure uh, everyone out there has uh, been writing uh, uh, feverishly to take Take notes there. Some great, great, great stuff, and I learned. You know, it's great. Uh, you know, when we, we get to speak with people of your uh, background and, and knowledge, and to be able to constantly learn, this is uh, so exciting. So, thank you very much for joining us. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. And um, I want to uh, also thank uh, the co-host David Asarno. Thank you, David. Any any final thoughts? Thanks, Paul. Well, I want to wish everyone a happy New Year. Um, and uh, it's going to be an unbelievably amazing one. And uh, Dr. Pampa, it's uh, I'm, I'm truly blessed to uh, have you in my life, and I want to thank you for being our guest today. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for having me, Paul and David, and thank you awesome. all. Awesome. I want to also uh, thank uh, Brent Brooks for moderating our conversation. Thread. I hope he's out there. I wasn't able to check. Uh, he got kind of caught up here. I know he got food poisoning the other day, so uh, uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Brian, if you were able to tough it out and uh, be a moderator there. Um, also, be sure to tune in next week uh, for ASEA's CEO, Tyler Norton. Uh, now, you may have heard Tyler on stage giving one of his great lessons, um, but uh, I know a lot of you may not have heard of Tyler's story and uh, why he decided to leave a very, very comfortable and lucrative uh, position there at 120-plus-year-old financial services um, uh, institution to lead us on our amazing journey. Uh, so be sure to tune in and uh, you'll learn about the life-changing experience that he had, uh, how he went from disbelief 
I think it's funny. He said when he first uh, heard about ASEA from his father, uh, he thought he had early onset of Alzheimer's disease. <laughs> when, when, he, when he said to drink this stuff, he said, that's salt water, Dad. <laughs> and, uh, so he thought he was... Um, and uh, he went from that into just having a little bit of doubt because his dad was very persistent about, no, this technology is real, you need to learn it, and uh, to, of course, 100% belief in ASEA. You're going to hear about that experience, specifically that he had when he shared ASEA with someone that was close to him. And uh, so, so be sure to be back here, same time, same place. Um, and it's we have a new website. Again, it's going to be connectiononair.com. Once again, connection on air.com will get you here each and every week at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time and uh, we should have the new Facebook event page posted at www.connectionhangout.com uh, shortly within the next day or so so be sure to check back there and uh, and you'll you'll learn about uh, a little bit about Tyler and see some great pics and stuff as well so once again thanks everyone for tuning in have a happy new year let's have a go out and have a fantastic 2014 and let's make it your best year ever Take care, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.